So let's get you the best possible exam mark with exam technique. Hi, I'm Alex Bell, I'm creator of mathmethods.com.au. Today I want to talk about how to get the best possible mark using good exam technique. Now the first thing I'm going to start with is something that everybody knows, right? You should skip questions if you don't know them or if they're taking too long. So many people know it, but they don't actually apply it. If you come across a question that you don't know how to answer, you should skip it. If you come across a question where it's taking you a little bit too long, you should skip it. If you're coming across a question where you're like, I know I can figure this out, I just need more time, you should skip it. Basically, any time that you think it's gonna take any amount of time in order to figure out, you should go ahead and skip that question. Now, the reason for this is that tests, exams, and SACs, and that sort of thing are so long that a lot of them are designed so that you don't actually complete them. And the reason for this is to separate the geniuses from the rest of us. If you go to the last questions, very often, even though they might be the toughest or whatever, there might be a still a few marks which you can get from there. So the whole idea is that each exam and test that you do is a little bit like a treasure hunt where all you're trying to do is extract as many marks as possible. What you'll find is the more that you can go over an exam over and over again, the more marks you can pick up. So the first time you go through each thing and you just pick down the low hanging fruit. And then the next time, the things that you know you could answer but have a little bit more trouble with. And then you go through the harder questions. And then you go through the harder questions. And the other reason for this is when you come across a question that you don't understand, just focusing on it for a long period of time, you won't often come up with the answer. But you will if you focus on something else. Which seems weird, but think of it this way. Have you ever lost your keys? Couldn't find them no matter how hard you focused on it. And then a little bit later, you're like, oh, I left them on the dining room table. The same thing can happen with exams. Now, um, I find there's two different types of students. There's those that come across a question and then get stuck on it. If you're one of those people, you need to practice getting over that and moving on to other questions. And the other type of person who looks at the question and then goes, I give up. I'm not even going to attempt this, it's too hard. This comes under the idea of how to do application questions and I get this particular question quite a lot. And the technique, first of all, is to read it. You wouldn't think I'd have to say that, but it actually is a thing which you need to focus on, reading it first. The next thing is to extract all the information you can, right? Is it to do with calculus? Is it to do with probability? Is it discrete? Is it continuous? What is it? And find that information and then get all the numbers and find what they relate to. And also open up and see what formulas you have access to so that you can kind of figure out what's going on. Another thing which is really helpful is to draw out diagrams as much as you can. Well, this is a general overview about exam technique. There's a lot of specific things which I get into. I think I've got a couple of posts on my website which go through that. If you've got any questions, you can comment down below or you can email me at alex at Hope you find this helpful and good luck in your next test or exam.